situation. What's up, guys? <laughs> uh, I just wanted to. Do... <laughs> you can't walk. I'm up. I'm up. What's up guys? My name is Tommy. This is Mr. Steel. And back by popular demand is the next installment in the mini trick series. You guys are gonna learn how to do some crazy stuff, man. I don't even know what we're teaching today. Do you, do you I, have any I, idea? I, I think this homeless person behind us wants to teach some stuff. Oh, what? Who's hey, this guys. dude? Hey. We are going to do a um, trick class? Trick series. Trick series. And we have Ben. Stand over there awkwardly. Him. Get away. I just, just threw back. He's just not allowed to be near us. I don't want to. Maybe you guys remember Ben from that episode. We helped him finish up his first squad. Since you guys like the format where you had a teacher teaching a student because the student is going to ask questions that we probably don't think about, Ben today is our student. We're going to try the uh, inverted jaw spin or 360 jaw spin. And they're laughing because they, <laughs> they think I can't say jaw. Jaw? <laughs> Ja. You're yeah. basically flying straight forwards. You do half a loop and then you do a 360 jaw spin and then you do another half a loop and you keep going forward. I mean, obviously, we always have some a certain degree of an angle on the camera. Are we really upside down or when we're doing it, we're a little bit angled that way? Yeah, sometimes you might be a little angled, so it just depends on, but you're used to your camera angle. You're used to this being flat. Yeah. And so. You just have to be considerate about that depending on how much camera tilt you've got. So when you do a backflip, before you start your yaw spin, if you're not like this and you're like this, which is very possible because you might have camera tilt, I'm sorry, like this, and you do your yaw spin, it's going to look like that. And what you'll do is instead of looking around the horizon, you're going to look at the sky and the ground, yeah, sky and the ground. To, at least to me, the way I've figured out some of those tricks is like trying to have your rates really similar in every axis, meaning like it takes the exact same amount of input or time to do any of the full rotations or half rotations. At least to me, that makes it a lot easier because you know how much you have to hold the stick on the side in order to do a full rotation. And the same with half rotations. But it's all time half. related. You don't, I don't use vision that much. It's almost time. All yeah. time. I mean, you can do it without looking. So I can looking. like fly, close my eyes and go whoosh, whoosh. And probably. Because exactly. then you can combine anything because we're saying upside down 360 jaw, half a roll, but you can also do only half a roll, half a jaw and then coming back back uh, the other direction. But I do a little bit of punch. Okay. Then lower the throttle. And let me see again. Punch up, half, 360, half. Yeah, give so, yourself. Now, when you when you go up to do the yaw, are you trying to make sure your quad is flat? Yeah, or? I mean, the, you obviously want to be as balanced as possible, and level as possible. So then you can yeah. line it up perfectly. So um, you're, you're taking into account the camera angle like you were mentioning before. Well, actually, I probably am, but I'm not doing it consciously. I just yeah. know when I have to stop. Okay. Because every time I start flying, I always do this kind of thing where it's like boom, 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 right. boom. Right. You know, until I kind of get used to it again because yeah. every battery is almost new, right? Yeah. So I just do this. Yeah. You know, just even if it's half rolls, it kind of help me Feel. sink myself again to what's what's the timing of half yeah. a roll. I mean, for example, let's do it without, a, without the jaw spin, right? Yeah. We're gonna punch up, go inverse, stay there, and then come back. Okay. Right, so that's the same kind of trick, but just removing the jaw spin. Yeah. And I think when you go up, I guess that can be a good technique to do. Just first, you wanna try that, right? You wanna yeah. punch it up, stay there for enough, and, and then, then go back up. in. But then you can do it faster. You yeah. Know? Because obviously, if you wanna do it through a, if you wanna do it through a tree, Oof. Right, so those yeah. ones were a little closer together. Yeah. Because if you want to do it through a three hole, like we've done before, then you got to do it a lot faster. And like we were saying earlier, Steve and I were mentioning that you can almost do it without, without looking like at without the Like without looking, right? Something... Okay, you know, let's try it through the three. All right. Once. All right. I think that's something that that's I want to I want to work on is is that feel. You know what I mean? That feel of the, the feeling, timings yeah. of, of when you get that hang time. Oh no, I did the wrong trick. <laughs> My brain uh, didn't work. Let's try again. Oh, I, I like to touch kiss. the ground once in a while. You know? Yeah, but, That's uh, part of the trick though, but right? But as you can see on that one, um, I'm gonna land because the battery is dead. Right. But on that one, I, I just, uh, you have to connect it a little faster. Obviously. Right. If you want right. to do it through a gap or whatever you want right. to do. Because you only have so much hang time, obviously, yeah. coming through there. So you almost have to like, as you are, as you are arriving on, on the first, well, you want to make rotation, sure you want to almost start rotation. Right, 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 right. And also, you're not, you're making sure that you punch, so you've you've got a little bit of height, but you want to cut that throttle before you actually get into the. Moves, I right? I cut the throttle because it's generally you're hanging at that time. Right, you want to just carry. Either them. way, when you input, when you gave it the jaw, the jaw input. Yeah. 
it's going to spin otherwise, right? Because right? Right, we're, right. we're using um, air mode, right? Quick tip, some of you guys have been asking, how the heck does the quad stay stabilized under zero throttle? And that is thanks to something called air mode. That means when you go zero throttle, the props are still spinning and you still have a gyro control instead of the motors turning off. Before, when we would flip upside down and hold that angle for a long period of time, we'd have to not go to zero throttle or the motors would turn off. So like the first year of me flying was flipping and then having to go to like 3% throttle so that the motors didn't turn off. And I think you're the same way, right? Yeah, yep. and now it's way easier because you can just hit the bottom yeah. and you're still going to be fine. Air mode is pretty standard now, so just make sure air mode is on your specific firmware and you'll be okay. Yeah, just do the double, you know, the half and half for a little bit. Of good and I, you see what I like yeah, what I'm I mean so close to the you're a little too close I'll do it I will go go keep going straight here and then turn I'll go I will go even further back to give you more distance so you can start going up around here yeah and again good just keep doing that until you feel comfortable because we have to mention though that this is not an easy trick at all this is definitely an advanced trick good that's good now let's do, do there it goes you overshoot a little bit. Yeah. Let's do one more. Keep a little bit more room in between the rolls so you can fit so the jaws. So a little yeah. bit more. That's good. Great. I could've, could've. That's, too much, that's too much space, but that's great. I feel like lining it up a little bit so you've got that space. Yeah, you want to you wanna line it up with those trees at the end. There it goes. Oh, you Try went forward. Way. You can do that too, though. Not the other way. The only I've thing is it. the jaw spin might be a little easier on the on backside. That wasn't too bad. Yeah, that's good. Like, and now you're getting comfortable with that half a half, half and half. Yeah. Half and half. Half and half. I feel like what I might do to be safe is it might be good to get a little bit out more altitude just to give myself a. Yeah. Uh, when you yaw, it it's gonna go down. So you have to be really high, yeah. and you'll see. Like I can go up really high and do a yaw spin, and if you let go of the stick and let it stop and y'all spin quickly, it'll like force you towards the ground. Okay, all right. Unless you do it right here, where it's continually going up. But if you go up, flip upside down, and then you're coming down, and then you do a y'all spin, you're, you're like, punching down. yeah, you're like going straight into the ground. Nervous, yeah. but I can do this. Nice, well, well that, was that was something. something. Well, what happened is you over, you, you over did, you over the spin over, on the jaw spin. Over yaw. Yeah, and over that's yod. what I was talking about. If you have the timing perfectly matching, then you will know that when you complete it. So you're, you're doing it right. It's just that you are over spinning on the jaw. Oh, I'm doing half a... Oh, you're doing half now. I'm okay. half now. I'm having a hard time judging... How much spin you're doing. How much spin. One I'm thing doing. that I'm noticing is that... Um, let's try again. I'm. I gotta keep going. You, you, but you're you're spot on. You just go the other. You come out. You come around the other way. So what I'm thinking is maybe your jaw spin is not fast enough. No, I don't think so. Let's see. Whoa. No, because you're doing you're doing a you're doing. I don't think you're rotating fast enough. Is he overshooting or he's? Uh... There he goes. Hey. Very nice, dude. I was like, I was like, I'm gonna hold it a little bit longer. Oh, so and just then, see so then, we it wasn't doing a 540. It was actually your jaw rate is too slow. Too slow. Yeah. Very nice, dude. Yeah, look at that. Holy. Whoa. So basically, I feel like it will help a lot if your jaw is a little faster. Obviously. Yeah, we might have to up the rate. Yeah. But you did it. I mean, you're, you're dude, you got it. Sharpoo. Oh. In, in, that's again, the, there, that's, the, that's the 180. That's your trick. That's, your that's my trick. Yeah. That All was right. good. It's just like obviously you discover like the stuff that we were talking about earlier. You discover that your roll and your flip rates are similar, yeah. but your jaw rate is not in not sync with that. Because that's probably you were doing. You were going like this. You were going the back back roll fine, yeah. and then you're thinking, okay, I'm going to do the same time that I know is right. Yeah. But then you were only doing that. Right. So now the real question is, if you pump up your jaw, the jaw rate. Yeah, right. You're gonna have to get used to that on regular flight. But I think at the end it might benefit, I feel. I think it might be better because I, I that makes sense to me, the you know, to have your flips and rolls and Stimed. whatnot timed up similar so that you know, because when I, I was getting kind of used to the idea of like I'd go huh, like that and I knew that was a half. Yeah. Like that quarter of a second was a half half turn. And if I held it obviously for twice that I knew that was a full flip, yeah. even without seeing the video, because it would it would end up in the right Flat. place. You know what I mean? Okay, really quick, Ben, was there anything during the instruction that like helped it click for you? Like, oh, okay, I 
I figured out why, or I figured out how to make it work. Kind of getting used to the feel. Like, like I, I liked what you guys talked about, about breaking down the moves to, you know, just do a roll or just do a, a flip or just do a yaw. Start with that and then start adding things and, and getting more flight time and that sort of thing. It feels yeah. like, you know, getting that feel is what seems to be most important. Because you can, you can logically think your way through things, but like what Carlos was saying is it's almost too slow if you have to think about your moves. So you want to feel, kind of feel your way through it a little bit more. And you know, I think that just kind of takes practice. But it's good to hear that. I have, a fun, I have a lot of fun because I never examined the tricks that I'm doing as much as I was doing it with you because then I was concentrated in knowing exactly what I was yeah. doing to try to explain, explain it to you. I have a lot of fun and, and uh, you know, I was just asking you guys if you have any other tricks that you want us to kind of like do the same that we do with Ben. Uh, just post it on the comments and like and subscribe. Thanks, guys. When you go, no, you're just going, boom, boom, yeah. and you want to go, shoom, phew, phew. Yeah. You know? Well, like the other day, so, you were telling me, like, instead of the foot, wah, it's like, ee, you know yeah, what I mean, yeah, through yeah. the, <laughs> and it's true because, and I knew, I was like, more throttle. I yeah. got it, you know what I mean? Like, it's I all get like, it. it's, I get it's it. a similar I language. The anima animator language and the quad language is pretty similar. It is. And if you freak out, it's a, yeah. you nail it. Yeah. 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 You don't yeah. want that. But it's funny that, like, yeah, in animation, we just communicate that way. Like, because everything is visually, it's all visual, so it's really hard to say. I mean, you can say, yeah, just go a little slower or go a little, but generally we just communicate like that. <laughs> like, it just feels a little too ting, 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 ing. Yeah. I should feel ting, 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 ting. <laughs> <laughs> you do talk like that, it's true.